Hi Blender fans, this is the next hard surface tutorial and in this one I will use the add-on hard ops and show you some basic tips and tricks. So let's start with the bool tool to create a basic hard surface shape by using simple boolean operations like subtracting this beveled object from a cube. Ok, now I'll select both objects and press difference. Great, now I'll go ahead and extrude a kind of platform, just basic modeling, press E to extrude, then scale afterwards and then extrude again. Ok, now comes the first trick, I want to add a bevel for the outer vertical edges, but the four edges from the inner area to the corners would interfere with this operation and would cause problems. I can dissolve these edges, but we need at least two edges connecting the inner area with the lower one, so I used the knife tool to cut in two edges, one on the left and one on the right side. And now I can select the interfering edges and get rid of them by using dissolve edges. And when I select these four outer edges now and start a bevel operation by pressing Ctrl B, this can be done without any problems. Nice, and I think we can apply a bevel for these two edges as well. Now how about adding a cylinder to the inside of the form? I add scale and rotate it and then make again use of the bool tool to union these two objects. By the way, you can also show the operations of the bool tool when you have two objects selected in object mode and press Ctrl, Shift and B. And I think this shape looks quite cool already, but to make this really pop, I showed in the previous tutorial that we can make use of the auto smooth with a certain angle and then add sharp edges and so on. But this time I won't do this manually, I will use the Hardops add-on instead. You can activate this by pressing the Q key and then a menu will pop up and you can select C Sharpen. The Hardops C Sharpen command is a shortcut for all the settings we made in the previous tutorial to make our object look really great. Set Auto Smooth, Add Sharp Edges, Bevel Weights and the Bevel Modifier. You can also go ahead and press Q, then select B width to adjust the bevel modifier to set the width by moving the mouse or adjust the number of segments by using the scroll wheel. Ok, now let's add another difference boolean operation with a new cube, just like we did before. Add the cube, scale it, move it to the position where we would like to cut and then execute the difference operation with the bool tool. And here you can see the problem, the edges after the cut are not beveled, the bevel modifier is not taken into account, not recalculated. So I undo this operation and let's have a look what hardops can do for us. Again I select both objects, press Q and then cut in. And as you can see, nice bevels. The hardops cut in sets the sharp edges, the weight and reapplies the bevel modifier. So this is really useful. What else can we do? I want to cut in again an object, but this time I create a custom one first. Let's try this one, looks like a stamp. I scale and position this and again I press Q booleans and cut in. Great, but I will use B width again to make it look even more crisp. Alright, now I want this hole to be at the exact same position on the right side. And for this Hardops has a symmetrize option that I enable here for the X axis, but instead of positive I have to select negative X. And here we go. 
So the next thing that I want to do is to use this little stem that I created again, but not to subtract, I want to add it to the mesh, which can be done easily with a boolean operation. But this time I don't use the union operation of bool tool, I will use the hard ops booleans. Because for this I can just select sharpen after the union operation, the boolean modifier is applied and the sharp edges and bevels are added for the unioned object as well. Ok guys, if you like, you can still go ahead and switch to edit mode and change the mesh, add new edges, like that. And if you want to have sharp edges, select an edge, press Q and then set as sharp. And again I want to symmetrize this, so like before, press Q, find symmetrize, under mesh tools and minus X. And now really the last thing that I want to show in this video, this is a hard ops feature that is called slash. I will again add a simple cube, move it to the location where I want to slash it in, first select the cube. After that, the hard surface object, press Q, booleans and slash. So this was basically just a boolean slice operation, but as you can see, the sharp edges and bevels are automatically applied for the new object. And if you like, you can still add bevels for this, no problem. I join these two objects now by pressing Ctrl J and then I will again symmetrize, but this time for positive X. And for this edge I will also add a bevel with some segments, but I have to remove these two sharp edges. So I will select them and use hard ops clear as sharps to get a smooth transition. Nice, and now I will symmetrize and call this done. Just for fun I will add a matcap in the end and some ambient occlusion. The bevel is a bit too thin, so I will increase it again. So guys, that's it. I really hope you like this video and my channel. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the next tutorial is online. The link to hardops by the way is added in the description below. Thanks for watching this and I hope to see you soon.